imagine being so great at portraying the medical field without actually studying medicine. Diego Rivera had this amazing gift. All it took was his two hands and his great imagination. He would paint the human body so extraordinary that it would seem as if you were looking at a person face to face. He had many once in a lifetime opportunities that he never took for granted. He traveled to Europe and collaborated with many artists. My name is Abigail Reynoso and I will be talking about Diego Rivera's early life and his artistic career. I will begin by discussing his childhood. Diego Rivera was born into a Mexican family. He was born on December 8, 1886 in Guanajuato, Mexico. He had a twin brother but unfortunately died at the age of two. His dad was a school teacher of Spanish Portuguese descent and his mother was of Spanish Indian descent. At the age of 12, Diego entered the San Carlos Academy of Fine Arts. There he learned sculpting and painting techniques. In his older years, he studied with experienced artists, those including Santiago Rebu, Jose Salome Pena, Felix Parra, and Antonio Faves. He had a feud with Felix, so that led to Diego leaving the academy. He was later recognized by the monumental Native American, Native Mexican agriculture. Although Diego came across slight differences, that did not stop him from painting. The commencement of his bright future began when he finished his studies in 1905. In 1906, he displayed 12 paintings at the San Carlos Academy. His paintings expressed Impressionism. According to DiegoRivera.org, in 1907, he studied abroad in Europe. This gave him a new perspective of the art world. In Madrid, he collaborated with realist painter Eduardo Chicharro Aguera in the San Fernando Royal Academy. In 1920, he assisted a surgical clinic by Dr. Jean Farré. Diego Rivera fell in love with painting. He would paint the human body so naturally and at a mastery level. He fell in love with G. Anne Herberter and married her. He went to Mexico for a brief time and when he came back to live in Paris, his art style changed to Cubism. According to Tate.org, Cubism represented reality. Pablo Picasso invented Cubism. The Mexican Revolution and Mexican heritage impacted Diego's paintings. He was a political artist and he did not believe in injustice. In Italy, he learned how to mural paint. Diego Rivera had many friends, visited many museums, and collaborated with many artists. This gave him a great network. His career began when he painted 235 frescoes, square area of 50,000 square feet, according to Toledo. No other artist painted as many murals as Diego did. His murals were located in schools, parks, and palaces. Rivera is the greatest exponent of fresco painted ever, a quote said from Toledo. He later on got a divorce and married the well-known artist Rita Kahlo. In New York, his art was known as the Frescoes of Diego Rivera. He was given the chance to paint at the Rockefeller Center in New York, but refused to make, to make some changes, so instead he made a better painting in Mexico. He was so invested in the science field because of how quickly it had evolved. He introduced 12 fields of sciences in painting. He was present in an operation done by Dr. Fare. This gave him a new perspective of the, me the medical field. His mirrors were located in medical areas of attention, such as vaccinations. Ignacio Chavez invited him to paint in Mexico City. His love for medicine grew day by day. He would paint brain tumors, x-rays, and even reproductive organs. In 1953, he painted his last mural. His last mural consisted of an operating room of medical professions. This was a message to celebrate the great wonders of medicine. 
Who would have thought a painter would portray medicine so vividly? In 1957, in 1957, unfortunately, Diego Rivera died of heart disease. He was born to be a great leader. Even today, his paintings are well known all over the world. Today, I discuss Diego Rivera's love for painting. In conclusion, Diego Rivera went from painting in Mexico to painting in Europe and many parts in North America. Diego Rivera was an opportunist opportunists that never gave up in painting despite encountering situations. This goes to show to never quit and keep chasing your dreams. This was my speech on Diego Rivera. Thank you.